Welcome back to the channel, and in today's video, we are going to be going over your Class A uniform, specifically the Class A jacket. Now, the difference between the Class A and the Class B is your Class B is this one, the one you normally wear, and your Class A is the jacket, for those of you who are aware of that. The Class A jacket is usually worn only at formal events such as ceremonies, which would include Memorial Day, Veterans Day. However, some of schools may wear the Class A jackets to drill competitions as well. So the Class A jacket is specifically used for formal events, not a daily basis or a weekly basis in the So today's video I'm going to go ahead and show you the two parts to wearing the Class A uniform. That is the tie right here and the jacket. The tie is the first thing that you're going to take care of first. So, before you do anything, you're going to make sure your blouse or your shirt is buttoned all the way to the top. You want to flip your collar up like that. You're going to take your tie, <coughs> put it around. Now, specific, you specifically want the wider end to be longer than the shorter end on the on the right side of your body. Now, this is important because that's how you're going to tie it. You're going to take the wider end, cross it over the skinnier end once, wrap it around and cross over again twice. Once you have that, you should have this little shape right here. You can see that it's, it looks like it's hugging the two ties together, tied together. Once you do that, you're going to take the light end, you're going to bring it up and under, in between. Make sure you don't get it knotted or tangled up in the process. Now it should drop over like that. When it does that, you're going to take it, and you're going to put it in the little flap or fold, whatever you would like to call it. It would be called a tie, but you will put it in there. Pull down. Now you should have this shape right here. Once you have that shape, you will notice that the skinnier end is now shorter than the wider end. Once you have that, you're going to take the shorter end. You're going to grab the knot or the tie. You're going to take the sh shorter, skinnier end and pull that straight down. And you should get a nice tie. Now, ideally you want to do this in front of a mirror, so for me I have a, my mirror to my left. I'm going to go ahead and check. Make sure that it looks neat. Once you, do, once you make sure it's neat and looks good, you're going to fold that collar down. And now you have a nicely tied tie. Now this is, for me this is the easiest way to tie a tie for when you have to wear your Class A jacket. Now, some of you depending on how you tie it, might have this end become longer than this end again. If that happens, go ahead and you can go ahead and tuck it into your shirt. And so that way, if you have to take off your jacket for any reason, which usually you can't or you won't, but in the event you do or they let you, that way it looks neat. And now, you have a nice tie. That's the first half of your Class A uniform. The second half is your Class A jacket. Now you're going to notice that you move all your awards onto the Class A jacket, including your nameplate, everything that you have on your normal Class B uniform. Now it's important that your Class A jacket is always hung up. Never let it drop on the ground, don't fold it up anywhere. 
Are you gonna hang up? And don't don't wash these at home either. It's best to have it washed and I dry it in as well. So the way you're gonna I'm gonna put it on first and I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Go ahead and show you the uniform devices. Not just what you usually have with class B, but what you would also be wearing with your class A. This, I haven't worn this in a while since military ball, so it's a little bit dusty. It's small. That's my fault. And that's something you don't want is to have dust on the class A class A jacket. It just, it just doesn't look good. But check here. And that's what your class A jacket will look like. Now we're gonna go ahead and go into the smaller details of the uniform first. We're gonna go ahead and start off with the basics, the stuff you normally have on your class B. Uh, I covered up my name plate so that you don't, because you don't need to know. But your name plate's going to go in the same place on your class B. There's, there's pockets. Uh, if you're female, it's going to be the exact same thing with your blouse. Same thing with your awards tabs or special teams tabs is what we call them. Academic grief, I'm not sure if all schools do this. I can't remember off the top of my head, but your academic grief is the same measurement. Same thing with your medals and your ribbons. Uh, just a side note, I know some of you might be wondering why I have a mixture of Army and Navy ribbons. I went to both and they let me keep, when I transferred over to Army, they let me keep the Navy ribbons. So, again, your awards are all the same. Shoulder cords, one on each shoulder. The highest one is on the left. Now, something you will notice is this and this, the J-bar and the disc, the JRTC torch, and torch disc is what it's commonly referred to as. So, this is something you'll only find on the Class A jacket is the discs. The J-bar or the JRTC bar, whatever you, how you call it, will usually be only found on officer Class A uniforms. That's how you can, that's one way you can distinguish a cadet between NCO cadet and officer cadet in the class A is the J bar. So the disc is going to go on your lapel at a quarter to an eighth of, or about a quarter of an inch away from the pocket and the seam. The J bar, I can see where it's correctly, it's going to be diagonal and it's going to remember correctly, it's been a while since I've worn this and I haven't really messed with the measurements correct measurements much. Of course, we all get a little bit rusty, but it should be about an eighth to a quarter of an inch away from the corner of your lapel. Now, if, if it's different, please correct me. It's been a while since I've worn this, as you can tell by the fact. that. Now, although I'm indoors just for uh, make it more formal, please, no matter what, you will always wear your beret outdoors. Even if you're, some people will say that even if you're under a roof but there's no walls, like a lanai or a porch, it counts. Usually that only counts if it says no hat in the But for the sake of formality, put on the beret so you can see the full Class A uniform.
drink your cooler because that actually goes up as well. Now that you have everything on, this is what your class A uniform will look like. So, I hope this is somewhat helpful. Uh, really, the class A uniform is just like a class B uniform. It's just these two are the only different. You can actually find the measurements for them in your cadet reference manual. I'm sure all JRC programs have it out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This helped to If it did, uh, consider subscribing to the channel. And I will see you in the next video.